It's a risky transition, but when it works, it works amazingly. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 female singers who can act. The doctor said I should go on and live life normally as, as best I could. I, I don't want anybody to be weird around me. For this list, we've chosen singers who are also talented actresses. If I The women on this list have to be considered singers first and actors second, at least by industry standards. And they also need to possess a legitimate acting ability, at least by our standards. But so what? I mean, I can do other things. Number 10. Olivia Newton-John She's a four-time Grammy-winning recording artist with over 100 million album sales. Yet Olivia Newton-John will never leave the shadow of Greece. And my heart is set on you. For good reason, of course. Greece is a cultural phenomenon, and Sandy is the seminal modern musical heroine, which has everything to do with Newton-John's fiery stage presence. Olivia was already a pop superstar when she was cast in the film, but her musical legacy changed to cinematic legacy, especially to younger viewers who only know Newton-John from Greece. It cold, that's where it ends. She's acted in several other movies, like Xanadu, but no film or song can overtake Sandy Olsen in public recognition. Well, that's why I'm so glad that Tom's such a simple person. Number 9. Whitney Houston I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. The late great singer who possessed one of the greatest voices in music history came to cinematic prominence in the 1992 film The Bodyguard. I didn't get to this place in my life by doing the smart thing every time. The blockbuster romantic film was the second highest grossing movie of the year, and its soundtrack is the best selling of all time. Houston, paired with Kevin Costner, gave a magical performance as a semi-fictional version of herself, which made the movie surprisingly poignant. Though reactions to the film were mixed and even garnered several insulting Golden Raspberry nominations, one for Houston herself, her larger-than-life presence superseded whatever deficiencies she may have had, and her performance is now revered. Farmer, you made me into a raving lunatic! Jesus. Number 8. Jennifer Lopez Where'd you learn to dance like this? Despite the overwhelming number of underwhelming acting choices, J.Lo can give a great performance under the right circumstance. Her breakout role in Selena is proof of that. I love him! Playing the celebrated Latina singer in the 1997 biopic, Lopez crafted a look and style that was so perfectly Selena. She was even nominated for a Golden Globe the following spring. In addition to Selena, Lopez received favorable reviews for Out of Sight and Angel Eyes. But movies like Geely and The Wedding Planner sent her career in a tailspin, which thankfully for moviegoers landed in music, where she thrived. The acting talent is there, she just needs a good film to resurrect her career. It was great. Number 7. Dolly Parton I mean, all that running around last night was useless. Hart left the hospital with a little bump on his head. Dolly Parton is country music royalty, occupying the highest rung of the genre with females like Patsy Cline and Loretta Lynn, along with a storied musical career that saw 8 Grammy Awards and 25 number 1 singles. Dolly starred in the films 9 to 5, Steel Magnolias, and The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, all of which garnered positive reception from critics. Oh, I sure didn't know you had dreams that big. Hmm. People really do like you, though. Dolly, as her personality dictates, was the focal point of these films, and her acting abilities were sharpened into masterful comedic and dramatic roles, which made her a star in multiple arenas. I just can't stand it. Since the 80s, Parton has mostly stayed out of the acting spotlight, though a string of appearances on Hannah Montana brought her back into focus. I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Yesterday when I was young. Number 6. Lena Horne I just wanted to say hello, see how you been. 
Hey, no harm in that. Not only was Lena Horne an extraordinary singer and actor, she was an African-American pioneer in the entertainment industry. So many wayward pleasures lay in store. Beginning in the 1930s as a Cotton Club jazz singer, Horne worked her way through the underbelly of the entertainment industry and eventually earned a recording contract, releasing several hit albums and singles in the 1940s. Horne would also receive attention from movie studios for her eclectic talent, starring in such films as Cabin in the Sky and Stormy Weather. Did I hear you say something? Yes, and I meant it too. But you always... Oh, but a woman can change her mind. Unfortunately, because of her social activism, Horne was blacklisted during the Red Scare and was unable to work in the industry. Once the communist label was revoked, Horne went back into the limelight and performed for many years before unfortunately passing away in 2010. Yellow. Number 5. Jennifer Hudson The only thing I know how to do is sing, and since ain't nobody letting me do that no more, no, I did not look for a job. Few singers have transitioned to acting as seamlessly as Jennifer Hudson. Under your spotlight. The American Idol star and Grammy winner burst onto the movie scene with 2006's Dreamgirls. And by burst, we mean impress everyone in the entertainment business. Playing the singer Effie White in her acting debut, Hudson stole the film with her performance, leading critics and viewers and even Oprah to attribute such terms as transcendent and religious experience to her act. And I am telling you, I'm not going, you're the best man. She also won nearly every Supporting Actress award that's offered in the industry, including the Oscar and Golden Globe, and became one of the most sought-after entertainers in the industry. Her acting career predictably bloomed after Dreamgirls, and she recently starred on Broadway in the 2015 adaptation of The Color Purple. Number 4. Queen Latifah Queen Latifah's acting career is owed in full to her work as a recording artist. Latifah is a Grammy Award winner, singer, songwriter, and a female hip-hop pioneer, who released her first record in 1989. The album All Hail the Queen was certified gold, and producers drawn to her distinctive style and commanding personality saw gold as well. Yes. Yes. Latifah was cast in a small role in Spike Lee's Jungle Fever. Is this your station? Yes, this is my station, unfortunately. Earned a guest spot on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Excuse me while I go to, uh, to, um, oh hell, I'm going to the bathroom. And later starred in the sitcom Living Single. Come to think of it, she'd been pretty stuck up the whole time. But the queen could not be contained in small roles or the small screen, and she delivered a staggering performance in 2002's Chicago, for which she received an Academy Award nomination. Got a little motto, always see me through. Number 3. Cher take me home, take me home. In the 1980s, Cher had a run of cinematic success that was unmatched by any singer. Silkwood demonstrated Cher's acting talent in a supporting role, and showed she could compete with any legitimate actor in Hollywood. You took about as good care of Drew as you took of your kids. This was confirmed the following spring when she earned an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The success of Silkwood led to leading roles in Mask in 1985, for which she received critical acclaim, and Moonstruck in 1987, for which she won the Oscar for Best Actress. Uh, I, uh, you know, all right, the engagement is off. <laughs> In time, you will see that this is the best thing. In time, you'll drop dead and I'll come to your funeral in a red dress. The pop superstar rounded out the 80s with roles in Mermaids and The Witches of Eastwick, before semi-retiring from acting, besides occasional cameo appearances and starring in 2010's Burlesque. Look, you have many fine qualities, Vincent. And then you've got some iffy qualities. But you've never been a phony. Just tell Marcus no. Number 2. Bette Midler From a distance, the world looks blue. Bette Midler got her start in Broadway in the 60s, appearing in such plays as Fiddler on the Roof and Salvation, 
before transitioning to solo singing in 1970. Midler quickly found her stride in the music industry and became one of the best-known artists of the last four decades, releasing several top 10 albums and singles. However, she took a prosperous turn into film acting in the late 70s. Should've, should've gone to college. Starting with The Rose, a highly successful romantic drama that earned Midler an Oscar nomination. She subsequently starred in dozens of hit films like Beaches and For the Boys, receiving shoals of critical acclaim. Court order. Don't ask. Midler remains one of the few people to have an Emmy, Golden Globe, Grammy, and Tony Award. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. There you go with that negative thinking again. Everybody has a brain. You must be real special. I must make you a lot of money. Roaming the streets, devouring the pulse of the city, electrifying. I miss it very much. Number one, Barbara Streisand. As one of only a handful of people to achieve an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, Barbara Streisand is the Renaissance woman of showbiz. Streisand is determined by the Recording Industry Association of America to be the top female artist of the century. But as a testament to her acting ability, many viewers may know her more from acting than from singing, as Streisand has starred in a dozen popular movies spanning multiple genres, from her Oscar-winning debut in Funny Girl, to darkly serious Yentl, to screwball comedies like Meet the Fockers. See, that's Greg getting circumcised right now. Round out her career with seminal appearances on TV and Broadway, and Streisand is America's foremost female entertainer. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite female singer that can act? For more versatile top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. But I should, I should be going now. I think Jean might wonder where I am.